day, everyone, and welcome to the HorseRaceAdvantage.com, part three of our video tutorial on how to properly use the HorseRaceAdvantage.com racing calculator to make more money than you have made before, or to certainly keep you in a profitable situation for the most part. Now, our first video, we showed you how to make win bets based on one single horse. Our second video was how to make win bets on using two horses. Now is our third and final video using the calculator, how to make place bets using the calculator to your advantage. And again, you're looking for value. There is one difference now. The difference is simple. Let's just assume that you were using, um, um, well, we're using Indiana Grand here, and we don't have the odds on here, but we're using, um, we used Gulfstream for our first couple demonstrations, and we're gonna use the same. We're gonna go to Gulfstream again on that specific day, which was, um sunday the 28th of october now in this case and demonstration what we're looking at is if you want to make place betting which has pretty good value we must say at times in many cases okay and you're going to choose one horse that you like to place and you're going to bet that horse to place however we all know that place betting the odds you're, you're not going to get the same payout as the win end you're going to get probably half or less so what we suggest is Again, we've always said try not to take, even on the win end, anything less than three to one. Well, on the place betting, you want to do the same. Okay, however, you cut the odds in half, and you never go less than two to one. Okay, and we're going to show you what we mean. Let's say you had a bankroll here of 300. Okay, we said, all right, you know what? We just want to make 50 bucks or $40 or $30, and we're out. As soon as we've gotten that, we've gone to another track, or, you know, we'll see how, how the rest of the day goes. And you want to set a desired target here of, let's say, $15 per race is what you would like to make, okay? Again, you're betting to place. You have two chances to hit. You know, a horse can win or your horse can certainly run second. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Gulfstream Race 1. And again, for demonstration purposes, we're going to look. And we're going to cut the odds in half, whatever it is. But we're never going to go lower than 2 when it comes to cutting in half, okay? So if your odds were six to one, it's easy, it's three. If your odds were 12 to one, it's six. If it's four to one, it's obviously gonna be two. If it's five to one, it's 2.5, okay, and so on. If it's seven to two, it's gonna be two. There, you, but you're not gonna go lower than two. So in race one, again, we're using our top pick and we're gonna say we're gonna bet it to place if that's the case. If it's scratch, we'll go down to the next one and so forth. So in race one, we're gonna bet the four horses four to one. So we're gonna say four horse, Four to one, we're going to cut it in half. It's two, and that's the lowest we're going to go anyway. We checked the results, and the four horse actually paid $6 to place in that race. It actually won the race. Not bad, because two to one pays $6. So this is a pretty good proposition here. Okay, we're ahead $16 in one shot. Okay. We've asked for $15 a race. First race, we've gotten it because the odds did materialize, and we actually had got $6 to what we should have, you know, we should have gotten in the first place. So we've made a profit of 15 plus an extra dollar. Not bad. Now we're going to Gulfstream race two. Again, this is place betting. You take your horse and you cut the odds in half. In this case, we're not touching this with a 10 foot pole. It's five to two odds. Doesn't mean we wouldn't buy it to win or key it in an exact or it wouldn't win. We're looking at value. We're looking at making you know, a, a decent profit. So we'll go down to the next one. We're gonna say the number three horse at seven to two. We're gonna take that. We're going to say, okay, well, half of that, the least we're going to be able to go is at two. Okay, so race two, number three, see what happens there. And he paid 420 to place. Now, two to one odds pay $6. We obviously didn't get away with what we got away here with. So 420 to place, we'll still take it, keeps us in the game. We're ahead by $23. Okay, we're going to go to Gulfstream race three. We're going to see how that goes. And this is three to one obviously that is the morning line favorite chances are that horse is going to go down a lot less than it should but at that rate it is three to one so we'll take it the four at three four at three and half of that is 1.5 so we're going to have to round it up to two so race three the four and look at this this paid seven dollars to place we're done two to one is a $6 horse. This horse paid $7 to place. Look what the calculator did. 
You ask for $15 a race profit. Five, 10, 15. You've gotten, you should be at 345. You're actually at 350. So you've actually made $50 profit. And when you do the math, you're talking about a 15% plus gain on your bankroll in one day, which is no bank is giving you that kind of money. I mean, you have an option here of saying, okay, I'm going to switch to another track or I'm going to keep with the trend and play Gulfstream. Okay, even if you did that, betting to place, you're still going to come out like a bandit in the end. And certainly, even if you have the remainder of the race, the race card that you've lost, you continue on the next day or with another track, you're going to bound to hit using our selections or even if you're using your own selections. Again, it's not necessary that you had to use this horse. Okay, you could have chosen any horse in this race that you figure that you happen to like, whether it be a name or, you know, um, uh, or you see, you saw something with the relative strength um, and you wanted to play that. That's fine. We're going to, even if you go, you go further, we're going to go to from race four and see what happens. Let's look at the card. Okay, it's the three horse at six to one. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to cut that in half. The three at six, race four. The three is out. We're going to go to race five. We're not touching that. Nine to two is an $11 horse. So figure uh, that's pretty much almost saying as good as saying it's a five to one horse, which will be 2.5, um, which pays 12, or four to one horse, which is going to be two. So we're going to just stick with 2.5. Okay, so we're going to say G5 is the number four we're going to go at 2.5 okay and g4 number four g5 number four off the board and now we're going to go to race six the race one i mean the the topic is the nine horse at seven to two obviously we're going to have to go to two on that one so g6 is the nine at seven to two which is 3.5 and we're going to cut that in half so we're going down to two so it's 20 28 dollar bet let's see what happened in race six nine horses off the board race seven we decided to go on to five at three to one cutting that in half is going to put you g7 um, number five is three to one again you need to really look at the odds and, 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 and make an assessment. You think it's really going to go down that low. Three to one, half of that is, is, is 1.5, so we're going to have to stick it too. Now, you have a $50 bet here. Um, again, you know, it's how strong you feel about the horse. But we're sticking to our guns here. And uh, it's race seven, number five. Well, you paid $4 to place. Now, you won the race, actually. So in this case, remember, two to one pays $6. You're only getting back four. But still, look at what happens. You've actually, you're talking about seven races, and um, you basically had an $8 profit on each race, meaning you've won every race. You've gotten this 58 to 28 to 12 to 4, 11, 7, 8, and instead of getting 50 in a race, because this did not pay um, $6, it paid 4. Okay, look at this race where this was, this was a $6 payout, but you got 7. Had this been the 7, it was boxcars because I'll show you the difference. Had this paid what this pays, even if it was $6, look at that, 406. 15 times seven races. You would have obviously cleaned up, but it didn't. It still, at $4, still puts you where you need to be, okay, at 356. That's pretty good. Now, you could continue on, and I'll show you. Let's see what the outcome is going to be. Race eight. The seven is at five to one, so that's 2.5. Okay, no problem there. We'll take the 2.5, race eight to seven, and off the board. Okay, race nine, we're not touching this. We're going to go after the six at six to one. Okay, so we're going to put in race nine, the six, six to one is a three, it's half the amount. Race nine. That was a loss. And now finally we have race 10, 14, Malika. I, chances are this horse is scratched, but we're going to find out. Okay, Malika. Race 10.
and the scratches. Yep, Malika was scratched. So in this case, your horse was the nine at three to one, which is obviously half of that is going to be G10, the nine is going to be two. Now it's a $78 bet. See what happens in race nine, race 10 actually. Well, the nine won the race. It went off a lot lower than it should. Okay, it only paid $3 to place. So instead of six, it only paid three. Still, where does it have you? It, at the end of the day, you did not leave this track losing money. Okay, you left with a $34 profit. Now, you probably say that's not a lot of money, but you know what? That it could have gone the other way. You only had a few races that you have won, which is only half of them. And look at these pr place prices. They're small. $6, $4. This one was pretty good, $7. But these were mediocre average at best. And you know what? You still walked away with $34 profit. Some, most people, they're walking away with either bankrupt or a lot of their bankroll down. Again, this is how you do the place betting. You don't have to, again, necessarily use what we're saying here. You can take the highest odds of our top three horses. Um, I don't think in this case uh, you could have taken, okay, the seven if you wanted. Um, 14 was scratched, so nine, six, and seven. And the four was, the seven was four to one. That's the middle odds horse. The five, the six was the highest odds horse. You can do that. Certainly you can take the middle of the top three or the highest of the top three. I mean, I don't know in race nine, um, your middle odds horse was the one. Where was that horse? He ran third. Um, so again, this is all going to be contingent upon what you decide. Race eight, you have the seven, one, and 11. Should you have taken the, the um the longest of the three or even the middle of the three you would have been off the board no matter what happens okay um so it can go either way i mean certainly you're going to be in a profitable situation um and it's what you determine now as far as handicapping is concerned using our selections you have the rankings and the relative strength you can certainly work with that okay is this horse leaps and bounds above the others Pretty much, yes. You have a 30% gap here. Okay. Very viable horse to put on a place end or a win end because the odds are nice. They're four to one. Okay. In this case, look at this with this 100% over 58. This is huge. But 55 to two doesn't make any sense. There's no value. Even this, a 20% difference in relative strength. Three to one may not be the wise move to put this horse to place. So you really got to look at this in a, in, in a good good standpoint. I mean, I'm just curious to see the two horse in the third third race where that landed up. Okay, the two horse white night storm. Okay, well it was off the board, um, and the reason why I said that is actually it wasn't the two. It was the yes, it was the two, because I saw the difference between the 46 and seven to one. And 71, I saw a big difference, a, a, a big gap here. Okay, figuring at five to one this offered value, sure, I would have taken a chance on that. Even if it missed, it missed. But everybody handicaps differently. Okay, when I look at our top horse and I see there's value, I certainly key that horse up and down. I use it in exotics. If I'm going to be betting win or place, that's what I'm using. If I see our top horse is five to two, sure, and it has a very good relative strength. I'm going to use that horse, but I would use it in exotics. I certainly wouldn't just be buying it to win or place because there is no sense in getting to a situation where, let's just say this horse here, you were betting this nine horse to win at two to one odds. $78 you're risking. If that horse runs second, you're crying. So this is why, you know, you have to look at this from a, a value of, uh, or, or, or the aspect of value, okay? In all three videos we've shown you using this calculator, you came out with a profit. And certainly some tracks you're going to have, you're hitting all the time. You may have a few races you miss, and then you connect on one that actually pays. Now, this again, what if this was this horse that paid $7? Okay, this is a $6 payout. And if you got that seven, you again are golden. Okay, and that's again, we're showing you exactly what we mean. Look at this. Four hundred and ninety dollars. If this horse had paid what this paid to place, you would have made a hundred and ninety dollar profit. That is pretty good beans. 
But again, it was heavily bet down, and that's why it only paid three dollars to place. Okay, and you ended up with thirty-four, but still a profit, and you walked away ahead. So we hope these three videos have been informative enough to you for you to use the thor the horse thor the horse race advantage um, thoroughbred horse racing calculator. Uh, believe it or not, you can use this for harness racing as well, and even dog racing. It doesn't matter. Once you have odds, that's all you need it for. Um, certainly, we do suggest using it with our plays and our selections. I mean, in this case, this free Indiana Grand Race course, if you were to look at these horses, 9, 7, and 8, or, you know, the 9, or the 7, or the 8, or it could be any horse you choose, if the odds were lucrative enough, in this case, you had 100 over an 80 in a relative strength, I may consider this horse, but based on the odds is when I would make a difference as compared to this horse, with a 60 over 37. This is a very good gap over this. So is the 11 horse worth the bet, or is it the 9 horse that's worth the bet? Again, it depends on what you're doing and how you're handicapping, but certainly using the calculator for win and place is a win-win proposition when it's all said and done. We do truly hope to see you use this the way it's designed and built to use and make the profits that you truly desire. And thank you once again for supporting us. Thank you again for getting our race selections, and we hope to see you profiting more often than ever before. Good luck.